All right, let's get to it. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Pokey Hall. It has been a quick minute. It is good to see everybody back in here. We got a few people hopping in and out. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Hope all of your wildest dreams are coming true, or as close as they can on a January weekend. But today we got some fun stuff. Let me realign the camera here. We got some fun, fun stuff to go through. Um, we're gonna be starting off with opening up some Gallertons. We got some Vivid Voltage packs, but the main entree of the night and the largest, oh, knocking over a lot of stuff over here. It's getting a little, very crowded. We need to do some organization, but the main, main entree is, as the title states, the new Ultra Premium collection box sword and shield zashin and zamazenta it comes with it's kind of hard to see with that ring light there those gold cards uh 16 packs are in here a lot of metal dice markers this thing alone weighs like 10 pounds it is wild so we're going to be getting into all of this even the layout of it is like really really intricate and cool there's like drawers you open and stuff but the promo cards from this alone are fire. The metal dice markers and everything are so exclusive and really cool to see from this product only. I think MSRP of this runs around $100. I got it around there as well. But um, it, it, it's going to be a really, really pleasant treat to open this. The card shop that had this only had three. Online, these are going for so much more. And if you can find them, definitely snag them. And, you know, we're going to be getting into it tonight for sure. We're going to start with the other products, though. Kind of ease into the night with some casual pack action leading up to this bad boy right here. So, we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Put that safely to my side. It's kind of hard to tell what side it's supposed to lay on. So, we'll figure that out as we go, I guess. But, um, yeah. Uh, excitement is, you know, doesn't even give the whole... Um, box justice it's inexplainable how cool that box is so excited for it but we're gonna start with some some galler gang action we got the grookey we got the uh score bunny with the cinderace and rillaboom promo cards which are like you know oopsies picture super choppy yeah i'm hoping it's gonna come in in and out because uh Ever since I've been using my phone now as the streaming device, I have to go through like a third party app to then get the image from my phone to the stream. So, you know, whatever. We'll see what happens. But yeah, these tins, we're, we're hoping for evolutions packs. I do think that they may have done a, not necessarily reprint, just a rerun of this tin with some more fresher packs, maybe like Rebel Clash and stuff. So, certainly we're hoping for no Steam Siege. But you never know, and we're going to find out right now. Pardon. But, without further ado, we'll get into the score bunny tin first. Move Grooks out of the way for now. It's going to be a lot of trash tonight, that's for sure. We'll yeet that over there. So these promos, they're relatively cheap. There's not much value there with them. But, uh, you know, maybe in time that'll change. Show it off right here. We got the, where's the angle I want for it? Cinderace V. Yeah, you know, pretty flashy promo. All right, so there's the sword and shield base, obviously, right there. Let's see what we got going under it. Another sword and shield base, makes sense. Wow. Pleasant, pleasant surprise right here. Unbroken bonds. Let's go. Burning Shadows. Two chances at two different Charizards already. 
three chances at like six different Charizards now. Reverse Hollow, Hollow. No, no, no. Then there's uh, like the EX, the Mega. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These tins are fire. Can we take a moment to appreciate what packs we just pulled from one tin? These are your average GameStop Galler tins. Oh my gosh. For some reason, I've noticed a lot on Burning Shadows. You get that little strip. You kind of see that in the reflection. Some like pattern of some like other pack that may have been pressed up against that. Holy guacamole. These tins are fire. Pokey Pro, you did say that they were fire. I saw online that people were, you know, just pumping up the price of these tins in themselves. And rightfully so, I guess. And these were GameStop, so you're getting those for the price that they were intended to sell for, which is pretty awesome. So I think what we opened was a pretty good order. I mean, I changed the Burning Shadows and Unbroken Bonds, but we should open it in the order as they came out because that was pretty perfect. Got some codes to give out here. Oh, is it getting choppy again? really hoping it wasn't going to but wow 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 these packs there is a code for someone gotta check GameStop tomorrow for sure for sure you should all right let me get the right positioning because it's a little changed my camera perspective up a little thwacky pal pad citrus berry woohoo Probably turn down this volume a little bit. Joltik, Salandit, Clobopus, Ghastly, Drizzle, and then Drapion, non hollow, rare. Alright, next sword shield base. This was quite a freaking surprise, these tins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, we're getting some green code cards, but like still. Even a green coat off an Evolutions could get you a Reverse Hollow Charizard, like, let's go. Rhydon, Big Charm, Thwax, Yamp. Krabby, Kufant, Baltoy, Salandit, Rotom Bike, and a Marshana non hollow unbroken bonds i can't remember the last time i opened an unbroken bonds really can't but i have always wanted to pull the reshazard will it be today probably not fighting stealthy hood happening welder Meowth, Geodude, Porygon, Froakie, Aaron, Litten, and Blastflon Ultra Beast. There you go. Nice rare to top off that pack. Okay. Burning Shadows. I That would be really cool if the other tin is identical packs. But hopefully some white codes. That'd be really nice. Why do I always pick the wrong products on the shelf? There was like three of these, I grabbed two. <laughs> Wishful Baton, Moralul, Charmander, there we go, put that off to the side. Porygon, Marill, Hoot Hoot, Simseer, and a Tortinator, non hollow. All right, and now for the set that people are selling an arm and a leg for right now, Evolutions. Give me a white code, come on. Send this with a white code. Nope, but that's okay because we can still get a reverse hollow Charizard. So this is XY series. Remember y'all, three card code, uh, three card card trick. Code card, whoopsies. Porygon, yeah, sometimes, you know, it's not always gonna be an energy or a trainer. You might just get some Pokemon. 
the Evolution Stray, Nidorino, Poliwag, Diglett Diggs, Seal, Nidoran, Ponyta, Seal, Reverse Hollow, okay, and then the Far Fetched, Non Hollow. It happens, but it's pretty cool to know that these packs are in those products. Look at those sets. Like, besides the base, like, those three right there, booster boxes are honestly probably approaching, this obviously is like, you know, 500 plus dollar booster box. These ones are going to be approaching, this got a reprint recently, but, you know, multiple, close to 200, maybe even 300. Sword and Shield's base is even going up, so there is a lot of value in these tins, especially if you're getting them for MSRP value. So don't skip out on them. At least the Cinderace one so far. We'll see what this Grookey one holds. We'll see what the Grookey's got. Got that Rillaboom V promo right off the bat, which is always nice to see. This fella right here. Pretty nice. 220 move. Pretty strong. Alright. I think we're in for a similar treat. Sword and Shield Base. Sword and Shield Base. Unbroken Bonds. Burning Shadows. Evolutions. So this box, this tin. Maybe around 25, getting five packs for $5 each, and you know, five times 36, if you did that value as the amount of boost box, certainly cheaper than $500. So if you want to try out opening some of these packs, these tins, or these sets, these tins may be the way to go. FYI. Sword and Shield Base. What do you got for us? Lightning, Drizzle, Ordinary Rod, Bead, Joltik, Salandit, Clovapus, Ghastly, Rookity, Baltoy, and Feeble. My god indeed. My god, what about your god? A lot of green coats, unfortunately. That's just the way it goes sometimes. It's the way of the road, bubs. Sometimes it goes and sometimes it doesn't go. This time it went for at least the sake of the packs, but we'll see if we can get the code card colors that we want. Minchino, Poke Gear 3.0, and a Cloister. Cloister. Alright, Unbroken Bonds. Give me a Reshazard, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Give me, you know what, actually, for extra Reshazard karma and luck, we got a code for a person. There you are, enjoy it. I hope you pull a Reshazard as well. Best of luck. We pulled a VMAX Stojourner, a Phalanx V, and two Zot, from two Zashington's 10 packs. Okay, that's not bad. Um, it's nice to at least see pulls, honestly, regardless of what they are, because who knows from where those packs are, uh, you know, coming from. If there was a uh, a really nice pull right next to it, and you unfortunately got the pack right before that, but again, it's just nice to see that uh, pulls were made. Janine, Poke Gear 3.0, Litten, Clefairy, Seal. Gligar, Mistrevious, Spiro. What a tease. White code from Unbroken Bonds yielding just a hollow. Again, sometimes that's the way it goes. Alright. Burning Shadows, another chance at a Zard, and then we'll have another one.
fighting to lead us into getting a hyper rare Charizard with the Charmeleon with the extra fiery look. Rolling Bulbix. I'll get a close up. Oh, not too much glare. Limpod. Togedemaru. Whirlpeed. And a potential first pull of the day is going to be. Darkrai Hollow. Come on. What is going on there? It's not what I'm looking for. By any means. But we got plenty to go. We have lots to go through. Still one more Evos pack. Let's see if we can get a white coat from here as well. Reverse Hollow Charizard it is. Reverse Hollow Charizard it is. Our Gorsh. Our Gourds. Electrode leading us down Nostalgia Lane. Coughing. Kakuna Matats. Classic looking Charmeleon. Seal. Nidoran. Ponyta. There it is. The cutie with the yellow cheeks. Pikachu. All right. Let's see what the reverse hollow. Oh, okay. I guess we're getting a break card. A Nido King break. For y'all that maybe never seen a break, that's that. And then that is actually... Did I get gypped out of something? Did I do the... Did I do four, actually? Yeah, the Electrode was the rare. Whoopsies. Um, the pulls were trash. I had a few commons that aren't any of any value, but I don't mind having, because whatever. But uh, you know what? I took the bad pulls off the shelf for y'all. So grab these tins as you see them, because I apparently took the worst of them off the shelf. You're, you're in the clear now. You're good. All right, well, let's go into some Vivid Voltage. Let's see if we can get some more Amazing Rares. Oh, I almost totally forgot. It's a good uh, segue into some purchases of the day. Boom. Look at that e-reader. It's a non holo Typhlosion, but that art is so cool. You know, you can certainly make a few comments on whose point of view that may be but that aside it is a cool cool card speaking of typhlosion here's another one for you the dark typhlosion wonderful wonderful card really good condition i'd flip around and show the back but it's kind of showing off oh, i guess that's already a reveal of what's behind it but um it's in all right quality as per the price uh kind of implies but really really nice cards there we go. This is a card I've been looking for. I saw the price and I was like, yeah, I'll snag that. Really, really nice looking Amazing Rare Rayquaza. I love the gold trimming on the uh, the serpent itself. Then behind here, what do I have? Oh yeah, a Shining Ho-Oh, which I was like, that is a solid price for that fella. So I will partake in ownership. Yeah, this is the promo which came from Shining Legends, like premium collection box. Got a few Shining, maybe Shining Ho-Oh, and then like the uh, Lugia, potentially. They're promo versions. There are Shining ones to pull in the sets, but these are the promos. Actually, this might be the only Shining Ho-Oh, which is obviously a promo. Promo Ho-Oh. A lot of similar uh, syllables there. But yeah, some cool purchases. And yeah, nice prices too. Count myself lucky there. Let's see if we can get even more amazing rares though. I have Jirachi, Zamazenta, Zashin, now the Rayquaza. Let's see what else we can get. Let's keep on keeping on. And my most recent blah, 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 recent um amazing rare was a zashin and it came out of a green code card so 
it's very redundant at this point. I always say, you know, if you're into Wang packs, skip out on that. Just open Vivid Voltage. It's literally pure enjoyment. There's fun Charizards to get. There's fun V Maxes to get. There's fun new uh, rarities to get. A lot of good stuff. Did I do the card trick? No, I did not. All right. Let's guess Grass to go into Vivid Voltage. Never mind. Delmize. Galarian Stunfisk. Aromatic Energy. Whalmer. Cottony. Clobopus. Tim the Tap Man. Okay. Whenever you see the reverse hollow at the bottom, unfortunately, you're not getting an amazing rare. Galarian Stunfisk and maybe a non hollow Charizard. Nope, a Crocodile Rare. All good, all good, all good. We got plenty to go. And then we got a whole Ultra Premium Collection Zashin and Zamazenta Sword and Shield box. <clears throat> it has 16 packs in it, two promo exclusive cards, uh, metal dice, and other cool stuff. Sleeves, I'm sure. I'm excited to get into it, that's for sure. Four cards. Fighting t Energy. Mighty Anna. Pinchurchin. Loud Red. EV. Rubat. Aracuda. Aracuda. C Dot. Fanfi. Electrike. And a Yan Mega. Alright, cruising and grooving, moving and grooving, however you say that. <laughs> okay, white code, let's see how we're doing here. Let's get me a rainbow chubby cheeks pika. The grass type, good luck right here. Let's see what we're getting. Opal, B, Riolu, Sandile, Whalmer, Weedle, like maybe a reverse all Charizard? Nope. Alright. This is honestly gonna be like our first poll of the night. We've only had hollow so far in promo cards, so let's see what we get. Nothing yet. That's what we've gotten. <laughs> My gosh, am I I just clearing out all the bad packs for y'all y'all should hit the stores and grab everything you can find because there's nothing bad left apparently four cards there we go my lanta what is going on tonight i'm so sorry <laughs> trubbish up it Chudle. riolu Shedinja and Vaporeon. At least we got an Evolution, right? I'm so sorry. Hey, we're still in for some really nice treats. Like, pulls aside. This is the craziest streak I've ever seen. What are we on for pack count? There was 5, 10, and I've already opened 1, 2, 3, 4. This is going to be my 15th. On the 15th pack, not only do we have a green code card, we might not get anything. This is going to be a 15 pack streak a cold streak 15 pack cold streak jeez can't even get it right i'm messing up so hard careless stone energy kakuna tim the tats eevee woobat aracuda c dot <laughs> electros and an executor i don't know what's going on truly truly do not but we got like five more. Hyun. I don't even know what to say at this point. It's just like trying to put on a show and have a good chill evening. And here we are just like pulling absolute garbage. Giraffig, Electric, Delmize, Clefairy. Tynamo. I think that my light might be dying a little. Milsery, Glarian Meowth, 
Trim Echo, Wubat, and a Colossal V is our first like natural pull of the night. The unnatural, I guess, being the promo cards. But like, oi, Gavolt, look at this. Like, I don't even know how I feel about this right now. Does it even deserve a sleeve? Yeah, it does. But like, yikes, yikes, yikes. What is happening? <laughs> Colossal V to start the night? Like, what do I even say there? Like, we're this far in. And that's our first pull. Some something up there in the in the universe and cosmos is like let's let's mess with this guy right now. <laughs> Agua because we're cooled off right now. Why would anything be fire at this point? <laughs> no, it's about to turn around. Let's go. Wismer, not an amazing rare, and a regular hollow Zekrom wasting the occupancy of maybe a Pikachu. A Pikachu V would be awesome to see. An amazing rare. Obviously, that's in the reverse hollow the slot. But holy guacamole, y'all. What is going on? Alright, we gotta turn this around. This is white code. We're not gonna get a regular hollow here. Here's, in fact, the code for extra spicy luck. Let's put some some good luck emojis, whatever you want in chat. Send some hearts, some smiles, some love, even some hate, whatever you want. Put it in chat. Summon summon Lord Arceus. Let's get some good good pulls right now. Alright, let's let's guess. I'm gonna go psychic. Alright, it happens. Here's metal. Stunfisk. Sableye. Talo, Yanma, whoop whoop, Dedene, okay, not the reverse hollow. <sighs> Loud red, all right, Pikachu, your time to come out. Well, this is now my fourth P Pikachu V non-textured, which is cool, you know, I'm sure time is going to treat this card well with value, but I still have not gotten the textured Pikachu V. Come on. Or the Rainbow V Max. Still looking for those cards. My fourth Pikachu V. I, I asked to summon a Pikachu. It's just I didn't specify far enough, I guess. That was my fault, y'all. Let y'all down. But the white codes, I will say, were hiding to the back. So that's good. grass I should have guessed it but it showed up giving us luck stone energy electric oh gosh I know right like something is going on it's like when you make a wish but it's actually like a backhanded wish you didn't specify it far enough so it's like oh here you go it's actually what you didn't want <laughs> Aracuda C dot Pamphy I really just want Amazing Rares at this point, so like, once I see that Reverse Hall, I'm so upset. And a Zerud V. I, I maybe have one of these, maybe not, but like, whatever. It's the most least hyped <laughs> Legendary of all time. They're kind of just like, oh yeah, we're releasing this new Legendary. Okay, cool Pokemon. Give us more Charizards. <laughs> Alright, last Blister. Before we get into some crazy cool awesomeness with the ultra premium collection box all right we can still get amazing rare can still get charizards it's okay breathe everyone calm down hush Biodon stadium zeb striker fanfi shuppet puchiana voltorb rock rough not an amazing rare and of course just an electros so much writing on all of them it's cool. like interesting whenever there's just so much of a description but that was a hot pile of trash all of that was just
trash. Look at what we got from like 10, 20 packs, 20 packs. Oh, oh, actually I forgot. We also got some promos that we knew we were gonna get. What was I saying? Sometimes it goes and sometimes it doesn't go. Oh, I don't think it went this time. <laughs> All right, let, let me uh, clear off the station because we got some cool stuff coming and I'm excited for it. That was, that was painful at times. Who can read nowadays anyway? It's overrated. I just have Ask Jeeves do that for me. Ask Jeeves, read me something from Google. <laughs> All right. Have I showed it on screen yet? Maybe, maybe not. But if this is your first time seeing this box, you are in for a treat because this thing is sleek. It is the Ultra Premium Collection Zashin and Zamazenta. Put the mic closer. Okay, how is that? Ask Reeves, ask Keanu Reeves. But on here, we go through, minus the anniversary um, sets, all of the sets from Sword and Shield thus far. Sword and Shield Base, Rebel Clash, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, we get two promo cards, metal dice, metal markers, awesome sleeves, an updated player guidebook, which we've been seeing the same Sword and Shield base playbook in all the ETBs for since Sword and Shield came out, so it's nice to just see a little variety there. Feels bad, man, even cutting into this, but certainly the box is going to be sticking around and reutilized for card storage or whatever I deem it um, you know the right purpose for it but man this thing we get a look from all sides the font is fresh let Z Zashin and Zamazenta guide you through Galar I'll hold it up there you can pause and read it if I can even get a good um, it's terrible angle actually boom might be able to read that. There you are. Wow, wow, wow. Get a, uh, it like opens up really elegantly as well. So let's see, let's hope we get that part right. Uh, try to do a little cut on the seam. Just as to not scratch up the box too much. All right, seal's broken. So, that box is crisp. It's heavy, yo. I'm gonna be like so careful with this. All right, this little corner comes off that down there all right I think I have it oh it's magnetic <laughs> we're seeing this all together for the, I mean I maybe saw neon cactus maybe open one I'm not sure but this this is the first time I'm remembering now seeing this Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wait. It's like a whole thing, yo. Okay, hold on. I gotta move things from behind here to create space. It's a whole thing, yo. Hold on. Oh man. This is very, very exciting. Okay. So you unfurl it like this. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me the code card. You may have to wait your turn, sir. Or madame. Look 
at all of his goals. Oh my gosh, where do you even begin? Like, let me bring it forward a little bit just so y'all can see these compartments. And actually, I'll just bring it forward just to show the top again. But look at this box. It has the Zamazenta Zosh in here. I guess it's supposed to like be facing this way because that's the way the font's written, but it opens up this way. Oh my lord. This is phenomenal. What do I, where do I begin? The middle one, I guess. Packs, dice, but the metal dice. This is where all the weight of this was coming from. Oh my gosh. Keeping these sealed. That is amazing. The metal markers. This is some of the coolest trading card paraphernalia I've seen from um, Pokemon, I gotta say. And the, the, uh, the black gold dice as well. Got packs in there. They're probably... Oh! Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Centering's pretty nice on that, but honestly doesn't really matter because probably just gonna keep this sealed put that on top safely oh my gosh these sleeves are crisp look at that packs what else we got in there so here's four vivid voltage oh dividers these are like, if Pokemon was making business cards, this is what they look like. Oh my gosh, this metal coin. This box is so amazing. I want to just, like, keep things in proper places, too, though. I know these didn't come out of there, but don't need to make too much of a mess of everything right now. Alright, so there were the four Vivid Voltage. I mean, we got plenty, plenty codes to come, so don't, don't you worry. Darkness Ablaze, and I think we got the Rebel Clash in here. Look at all these packs that are in this box. We've got 12 packs in our hands already. Oh my Lanta. It is so cool to see a nice, like, uh, chronology. I don't know if that's the word, but in chron chronological order, at least the uh, release of the whole Sword and Shield era thus far in a single product see our Zashin gold card dude this is awesome oh my gosh like this is a, a real Pokemon product that you can find right now this is amazing oh my gosh look at these sleeves this is a this is one of the coolest products I've ever ever seen and had the pleasure of opening. We have a Sword and Shield base here. So there is our sets, minus anniversary sets, obviously, so far. There are other compartments to check out, though. And actually, we got the coin, too, I'll show off. Here's the, uh, the Zashin coin. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at this. What do we got in this middle compartment? Okay, so they they had the audacity to throw. It's the rule book, so I feel like they just need to keep on, you know, throwing it wherever. At least it's on theme this time. You'd see this one in still vivid voltage. You're like, okay, there's no Zashin and Zamazenta, or there are amazing rares, I know. But you get what I mean. And then there's this new series player guide. The matte black finish looks really nice. Double Z decks. Yeah, this is a lot more product exclusive. Maybe not. The top combos. Darkwing Dance. Oh, this is like a, more of a strategy guide. The series promo list. That is really cool, actually. 
because usually you know in etvs we're given the set list but in this we have the series promo card list there's you know the pikachu that people are raving about right now which is actually you can't see it but it's right behind the hidden fates etvs right up there uh, sealed product this is awesome that Pikachu promo I'm not sure I have I need to try to get my hands on that one of course the champions path Charizard V from the ETV vivid voltage Charizard I don't know if I got one of those and then there's the new fellas right there <gasps> look at that this special delivery Pikachu is like $400 right now it came with a $20 purchase from the Pokemon Center it came free with $20 or more purchase it is worth $400 right now if you happen to have bought one at that time and gotten it good for you that it is an amazing steal um, but this special delivery Charizard we do not know where or how it's going to show up but man when that comes out it has a special delivery Pikachu on its back when and if not if when it comes out it's going to be something special definitely keep your eyes on it it's going to be a really really nice treat we have a whole schedule of release stuff that just came out from Pokemon as well all of the um, new jumbo cards so much cool stuff is coming out minus the kind i'm i'm not a huge fan of katie perry sorry if you're tuning in katie perry i'm sorry i'm not the biggest fan it's okay though not everyone has to agree upon everything as long as we're doing it in a you know uh, a healthy way that we're not just straight up insulting others because that would be extremely rude and also uh kind of show your intellectual capacity if you're just straight up insulting people i'm curious if these last parts come out but maybe not so i think we're just gonna get into some packs and as per the uh the eagerness of some yes i will i'll give out a code from this here sword and shield base set hopefully you get your yourself a uh, an old school gold uh zamazenta or zashin maybe I'll pull one with you right now because we do have a white code card so there is your code feel free to pause it if it wasn't up long enough fortunately that's what might you may have to do but let's guess grass energy as we go into this one let's get some pulls out of here come on this box right here it had nothing to do with those packs totally different store different distribution let's get some good pulls Aurora energy Double Quillfish, Galarian Zigzagoon, Glossifleur, Silicobra, Yamps, Crabs, Pokey Kid, Marnie Hollow. Now, this Marnie Hollow from Sword and Shield Base was the first Marnie Hollow to appear. I think it's in like Champion's Path and a lot of other things now. Pardon, but um, right off the bat, this was like a three dollar card. I think from reference it went down, but it's really interesting to see that value. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Um, value in that card right off the bat. It's really really interesting to see. Um, Um, we're actually going to go through the eras because I think that would be fun. We'll do a nice back and forth, nice trip through the series each time. All right, Rebel Trash. Let's see what is going to happen here. Scoop up net, Heracross, Bunnelby, Vulpix, Phantom, Glarian Farfetch'd, Squovit. Might have Cham and Sizer non hollow. Darkness ablaze. Still have not pulled me. The Charizard. Guess we're not going to. Unless it's an error pack, but don't come by those too often, do you? Okay. 
Let's get it. Yellhorn, Flaffs, Carnivine, Nicket, Shelmet, Larvitar, Grimes, Darmox, Talonflame, Draxult. I like that Pokemon, but not the pulls we are looking for. Can we get an amazing rare? Let's get it. Let us. And again, green code cards don't mean nothing in the voltage. May lower the chance of getting an amazing rare. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But it's still possible to. I've gotten now two amazing rares out of green code cards. It happens. Beauty, Shuckle, Yanma, Clarion Meowth, Duskull, Weedle, Drillbur, not an amazing rare, and a, a Manectric, Curvy Non Hollow. It happens. Let's take another trip through the Sword and Shield set. I mean, I'm definitely happy with just the gold cards. But I'd like some uh, some icing on top of this here cake. Clarion Lanoon, Sea King, Ordinary Rod, Sad Sobble, as always. Just gonna cry and make us all cry. Pinchurchin, Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Minchino, Mawile, and a Clarion. Wrap a dash and throw it in the trash. Rebel. Oh, speaking of trash, yeah. This. A green co card from Rebel Clash is. Just, yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's the Steam Siege of the Sword and Shield era, for sure. There are, you know, gold cards to be pulled, but, you know, if you really define a set by a few cards, it's not, it's not a good set. Glaring Mr. Mime and a Ludicolo. Like Darkness Blaze. We can take Charizard away. What do we have left? It's actually... It's not as strong as an argument, at least for Rebel Clash. Because there are some really cool arts for uh, cards in here. The Crobat, the Houndoom. There's actually some really, really nice cards to be pulled in this set as well. Can't say the same for Rebel Clash. Poltergeist. Ooh, the weird, weird fascist ducklet. Galarian Daramaka, Larvitar, Nicket, Starly, and a Kling Clang. Am I getting a uh, deja vu from like 30 minutes ago of us not pulling anything ever because Arceus is like, mm -mm, not today. Well, maybe not because just got a white code. It's got an amazing rare and a chubby Pikachu right here. Maybe. Maybe. Galvantula. Swellow. Beldum. Pampy. Duskull. Electric. Pineco. Drone Rotom. Memory Capsule Gold Card. Okay. I am actually not familiar with the price on this. We got uh, anyone in chat who uh, knows what a memory capsule gold card is going for? I'm pretty sure I've looked at Vivid Voltage Priceless recently, and this wasn't near the top, certainly. But uh, if anyone happens to know a value of that fella, I'd love for you to share. But we got a gold card, all right? It can it can go with our other gold cards, I guess. But yeah, I really do like how we have a rainbow on it. Honestly, I love the uh, you know uh, deoxyribonucleic acid that we see in the pendant there. Um, but uh, and I'm sorry, I kind of just needlessly flexed flexed some knowledge. That's just the long form of DNA. But um, it's a really nice card. Yeah, pretty. Pokemon this card is attached to can use any attack from its previous evolutions. You, st you still need the necessary energy to use each attack. Okay, makes certainly one car uh, one Pokemon a little more versatile. 
743 is the value on a memory capsule. There it is. There it is. All right, back to Sword and Shield base, making our rounds again. Ferrothorn, Raboot, Lumberry, Saddy Boy, Rhyhorn, Rosalia, Pharaseed, Krabby, Poltergeist, and Chinchino. Chinchino. Alright, Rebel Clash. If you ain't got an Orang Guru, get the heck out of here. Oh, I guess it needs to get the heck out of here. Get the heck out of here. Alright, fighting. Ogrim. Medichim. Pokeballum. Ericuda. Glaring Meowth. Surskit. Magikarp with a chubby Pika. It looks like a uh, Imakudis, or however you say it. It's Pikachu in the back. Nosepass. And an Infezant. Nothing. <clears throat> All right, Darkness Blaze, what do you got? What do you got? Not much, I gotta say. Hey, and if you made it this far in the video, I always appreciate a little click of that like and subscribe just to show the love. And hope you've been enjoying the video thus far. Definitely comment if there's any critiques or suggestions, any sets you think I should get my hands on, any cards that you think I'd be interested in. Let me know. Hit me up. Always, always looking to converse. All right, second to last move of voltage. We've got one more run through the ringer here. It's a green code, but man, if we get an amazing rare right now, be a nice, nice treat. Fighting. Kakuna Matats. Loud Red. Wide and Save Name. Whoop Whoop. Glarian. Cat. Cottony. Ericudes. Ninkada. Joltik. And Exploud. It happens. It happens. I've never wanted someone to get pulls more than right now. I imagine living through it right now. That's where I'm at. Well, Sword and Shield base. Maybe we can get a matching gold card to go with one of our promos. Pokey Kid. Heatmore. Galarian Stunfisk. Nikit. Ball Toy. Chinchow. Crabs. Chino, Rhyhorn, Professor's Research, full, eight, full Art Trainer card. There you go, Pokey Pro. This one goes out to you. You get the Old Lady Researcher card. This is quite a simple description. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. There it is. Nice and simple. All right, the pulls we've had, what was it? Three Vs, two full art trainer cards, one of them being a gold card. I mean, we're getting what we get. We're enjoying every moment. We're making a huge pile of trash. And the white code cards are showing up in the last round. Let's see how this one goes. Rebel Clash, give me that Obstagoon or Galarian Darmaka. Full heel reverse and a chandelier. Chandelier. I don't need no candles right now. I need some Charizards from Darkness Blaze. That's what I need. I've had so many chances at Charizards tonight. Let's get another one. Not another Charizard, because we haven't pulled one yet. Another chance at a Charizard. Fire Pack. Bird Keeper, Soul Rock, Relicanth. Teddy Ursa. Rookie D. Torchic. 
Trap Inch, Eagly Poof, Rose Tower, Arctivish. It's been a long, long journey and road tonight, but apparently we've made it to our last pack. Things happened, packs were cracked, some pulls were made. It's a Colossal V, a Pikachu V, a Zerud V, Memory Capsule, Professor's Research. We've got this lovely, lovely new box that is going to be a centerpiece on this display behind me at some point. But we have now encountered our final pack. A one if you think we're going to get a pull, which could be an amazing rare. A reverse holo Charizard, a non holo Charizard, or any V or full art, no non hollows, or a two if you think we ain't getting any of that and I'm gonna keep up the trend of getting trash pulls. What do you think's gonna happen? A one if you think I'll get it, and a two, no way in heck, before we even look at the color of this code card. I'll also hand out the code card, don't worry. I'm I'm hitting one right now. I'm gonna participate as well. I I have faith in me. Let's see what all you probably more realistic thinking individuals think. <laughs> all right. One hopefully f from the German. One from the pro. Nah, I'm kidding. Whatever. We got a green code. Doesn't mean it's the end of the world. We got this. Come on. Come on. Come on, Arceus. Give us the strength to get at least a, a, a nice reverse Hazard, but really like an amazing rare. Pharaseed. Riolu, Sandile, Whalmer, Weedle, I think we're approaching our reverse. <laughs> it's red. Oh, there it is at least. At least something up there was like, you know what? It's the last pack. Arceus just made this pack a little bit more spicy for us with a reverse hollow Charizard pull. This might make the second or third of one of these that I have. But nice, nice, nice. I'm not not too too upset now. There it is. A reverse hollow Charizard to top off the night. Good. Good, good, good. And then a Terrakian behind it. Wow. Yeah, thanks for helping out with those that luck right there. Definitely needed it. Harnessed it from all the pokey positivity that y'all are always throwing out to me. So I'm always appreciative. And, you know, seems like y'all uh, always show the, the love in return. So thank you all for joining. I mean, I'll do a nice little ending uh, showing of these awesome awesome promo cards with this box that unravels behind you like look at this put these on the respective markers there here's a charizard i guess i'll put there but what a box like so much potential i'll say with the pulls um but just so aesthetically pleasing some exclusive uh dice and markers and coins that you won't see anywhere else or you know if someone is selling it individually it might be a price that has quite a premium to it because the box alone was expensive but if you see this at not you know a painstaking price it may be worth it because this was really fun we went through all the eras i hope that they continue this kind of idea of as we release sets we'll do a product that kind of showcases where the era is at so far um 
you use the code card for the box. That code I'm actually not gonna be showing off because it is a little more valuable and uh, you know, those uh, I might be using on my own. But uh, handed out some other codes earlier, so definitely watch the recap because there's a high chance that those codes weren't grabbed because we haven't had too many viewers. But you know, uh, always always check out a code or two that I've shown off. Actually, the ones I showed off I have right here, so I can at least review them again all at the end. Those are the codes I uh, showed off throughout the stream. So there you are from a few different sets. We got Unbroken Bonds, Vivid Voltage, and two Sword and Shield Base. So definitely have some chances that some nice, nice pulls to be gotten. But there you are. And yeah, really appreciate everyone always stopping by. It is now 12 past uh, 12 a.m. my time. So it is officially Sunday. It's a weird thought thinking I have work tomorrow, but obviously I still have a sleep, two sleeps between now and then. But I uh, hope everyone enjoys the rest of the night. This was such a cool opening, and I'm really glad that all of you got to uh, join. So, peace, love. Hopefully, everyone's 2021 is, you know, going not terribly, I'll say. And uh, and yeah, keep on keeping on, and I will 